getting ready to uh, wax seal the barrel. Um, Gulf wax, paraffin wax is good wax to use. You don't need a whole lot of it. Um, I'm on my second barrel and you can see how much wax I have left. I've already done the sides of this barrel. I'm just going to illustrate doing it on the head for you guys. Um, pretty easy technique. Um, the reason we're doing this is to minimize the oxygen pickup on the beer inside the barrel. So this gives it an oxygen layer. Um, basically just take this wax and all I'm doing here is just rubbing it on. And because the wood is coarse, it is actually picking up the wax. And you don't have to worry about getting getting too crazy with it because once you throw the torch on it, you'll you'll easily be able to see the areas that you've missed. Alright. Okay, basically just using a, a benzomatic torch here, propane torch, to melt the wax. Um, this is a great tool if you don't have one already. It's great for um, flaming lips on starters and bottles on dregs and that kind of stuff. But you'll notice when I, when I throw this on the barrel, you'll start to see where the wax is and where it's not. So I'm just kind of melting it in, letting it run through the cracks. And anywhere where I'm seeing some dry areas here, I'm going to come back over it again. So I'm hitting it a second time with the wax. It's going to be a little hotter this time, obviously from the torch, so it'll pull off a little better. Um, when you're torching, you, you, you don't want to force it because you may burn the wood. So if it's not if it's not easily melting, give it a stop and hit it again. But you can see here, you can really see it picking up here on the rough edges, the sides there. with the torch again. It's getting a little more uniform. The heads are a little more difficult to do than the actual sides of the barrel, but you can see all the shavings melting in and causing a nice, getting a nice seal here, which is what we're looking for. A couple more coats and I should be good to go.